back to business, baby. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name's Nicole, if you are new. Thanks so much for clicking on this week's Aldi haul. We are back at Aldi, and I'm just gonna tell you guys that I think Aldi might be our new official store like every single week because I went to go make a Walmart order online to do a pickup and they wanted $12 and some change for some grapes and I like to like lost my mind. And looking at the other things I was putting in my cart since I went on my beach vacation, things have went up so freaking fast. Like it is absolutely insane. So I will make the trip. It's worth the trip. Now with the prices, we just, it's just un. I just can't even talk right now. We will still go in store for certain things that Aldi doesn't have, but for like our main shopping, I feel like we need to be coming here every single week and fingers crossed the one by our house gets built soon. So let's take you inside, show you any new things that we find, and we are here for the protein and for the fresh food after that vacation. Your girl needs to get back to the basics, back on track. All right, there you go. Oh. <laughs> Good job. Thank you, buddy. What they got this week? I saw a lot of Instagram Aldi accounts showing the little mini cacti. How cute are they for $2.99? And then they have the succulents too that are really pretty for $4.99. So how pretty is this woven serving tray for $14.99? Like really nice. I have one just like it that I paid way more than $14.99, I will say. And then also this Crofton Rattan Serving Caddy. So cute for $10. These foam, memory foam bath mats for $12.99 are like so nice. Dang, impressed with the quality on that. So if you're a Twizzler fan, they have the orange cream pop filled ones for $2.23. So we found a three wick candle clearance fine, 99 cents for these three wick candles. They have grapefruit and sea salt, just grapefruit and then Lakeshore something. Your girl's picking up all three. Giant size boxes of Reese Puffs and Lucky Charms. 26.1 ounces for $4.90. Also, my store has the 12 packs of the Oreo Minis and the Nella Wafers and the Variety Pack on clearance for $5.29. How cute are these bag clips, these little alligators? And they also have owls for $2.99, so cute. I've been seeing my girl Ashley use these slow cooker sauces, I think. They have the apple bourbon pulled pork and then the pub style pot roast for $2.49. The macros on them don't look bad either. I think it's 30 calories for a serving and there's five servings in a bag for the whole uh, slow cooker. I'm not sure if I remember seeing this last time or if it's new or if it's ready for fall, but they have the organic instant oatmeal in the maple spice and the apple cinnamon for $2.29. They also have the apple strudel or marbled cinnamon breakfast bread. What? For $4.19. Again, not sure if this is something all the time or already seasonal stuff is happening. I'm not sure. You know, newbie Aldi shopper here. I don't necessarily need another loaf of the 40 calorie fit active bread, but last time we came, it was almost $3. Today, it's a buck 79. So, freeze as well. Pick it up. Hamburger buns and hot dog buns are 50 cents. I think we're good, we'll wait till next week. Even though I was just talking about freezing, we have a bunch of hot dog buns. So this is new, maybe kind of comparable to Chobani. This is the low sugar Greek yogurt in plain or vanilla. It is 90 calories for 170 grams, two fat and 14 protein for $4.99. Look what they finally got, egg whites, 365. I don't think I need any, but hopefully next week they have them. Mama Cozy's hot honey pizza pepperoni on pretzel style crust. Shut up, Mama Cozy. That sounds amazing. $5.49. So we're going to be good and skip the ice cream today, but I didn't notice these before. They have Fit Active 20 calorie vanilla cream bars and strawberry vanilla, orange vanilla, and cherry vanilla for $2.29 for 10 bars. They also have like their version of Halo Top in chocolate and vanilla. So it is 20 grams of protein. This one, the vanilla, 24 grams of protein, the chocolate, 240 cows, 280 cows for $3.25, really good price for those. Y'all let me know if you've tried these, how they taste. I'd be really, really curious. So I may have to put these on the meal plan next week if they have them. The Fremont Wild Caught Shrimp Taco Mix with veggies, red beans, and spices, yum. And this is the fajita mix with peppers, onions, and spices. 90 calories a cup for this one, 70 calories a cup for this one. Protein on these are like 11 grams per serving, 13 grams per serving. 
$4.99. Like, what a deal. Like, this would be like one meal for me, though. I'm just saying. We are back home. Always a trip, y'all, because it is not um, close to us, as you guys know. But we got a lot of good stuff. We did have a couple of hiccups. We've had that here re recently with things not scanning right. So my total was $93.98. I got like $5 and some change back with a refund. So everything from Aldi was about 88 bucks. And I'll let you know the snafu so it doesn't happen to you as well. Also, we have a 27, it's crazy, $88 and then $27 at Winn-Dixie. But those are good deals for what we went in for because they don't have those things at Aldi. I mean, prices are just absolutely insane. So as you guys saw in store, I even filmed it for you, $1.79, it rang up the $2.25 price. So I made sure to get my refund for that. I'm going to just save that if it just stays the $1.79 because I feel like it did the same thing a couple weeks ago. It was marked down, but it rang up $2.25. So make sure you check if you're getting this bread and it's marked at $1.79 that you're getting it for that price on your receipt because that's the second time it's rang up wrong for me. That's the 40 calorie bread. I wanted to stock up for that price, but... I had to go and get it fixed. The fresh produce is what we make the trip for. It's absolutely nuts. So these were like on deal this week for a dollar something. I love blueberries, but one of these at Walmart was $4. So you do the math there. I mean, it's worth a little bit of gas for some of these price differences from Aldi to Walmart. The bananas were not looking too hot, so I just got a few and, and we haven't been really eating a bunch anyway. I think Waylon's finally getting burnt out, so I only got a couple of those. The strawberries were $1.99. They've been such great prices, and I have some that I brought back from when we went grocery shopping while we were on our beach trip. So I just got one to tide us over. All of us love them. The grapes, I could not believe. I think there were like 69 cents a pound, and I think I paid like $2 or maybe even $1.50 for this entire bag of grapes. Like, shut up. Even the, the red ones were like 75 cents a pound. I mean, you cannot go wrong there. I'm telling you, when I went to go put grapes in my cart from Walmart, it said $12. I was like, you are, I, you've lost your mind at this point. Like, I just can't even fathom. I could not fathom the peach prices. So on the ad, it said they were supposed to be like $1.79 a bag. They rang up 88 cents a bag, 88 cents a bag. So I got each of these bags for just 88 cents. And look how many peaches are in there. And last time we bought them from Aldi, they were so sweet, juicy, and delicious. And I just keep them in the fridge until I'm ready to eat them. And then I put them out in my little produce bowl and let them get ready. And they are just so delicious, like low calorie, high volume, and in season, here for it. Got a bag of potatoes. I really didn't want to get a big bag of sweet potatoes. I wanted to get just two, but they don't do that necessarily with all things at Aldi. Because we're going to have a baked, simple sweet potato on the side of some Hawaiian chicken on Monday night. So I went ahead and got just the bag because it was really cheap. Got a bag of lemons. They were on a good deal as well. I cut that up and put it in my water. And then we did get some deli meat. The deli meat has gone up significantly at Sam's and Walmart as well. I haven't tried the ones from Aldi in the tubs, but they were pretty good priced by this Lunchmate brand. So we got the oven roasted turkey breast, which is 50 calories for a three slice serving and eight grams of protein. And then the uncured honey ham is the same calories and it is eight grams of protein as well. So I like to put these on the lightly salted rice cake with like a laughing cow cheese and a little drizzle of that honey mustard. It's so, so good and a really good way to have like a, a light and refreshing lunch, if you will. So I have this for the boys and for myself, loving it. I think Waylon's got one corn dog. He uh, went hard on the corn dogs and the peanut butter and jellies and stuff while I was out of town. So he picked up one more box of the honey flavored crunchy batter corn dogs. He loves those. And then I threw another one of the Mama Cozy's pepperoni turkey ones in the cart because I have only seen it that one other time and I have a feeling that it may go away. And this is just pantry stable and we love these. It's 70 calories for 16 slices and 10 whopping grams of protein. So another thing you can put on your rice cake with a laughing cow cheese and get a little protein fix in, a little snacky snack. And then y'all know Trey loves the pimento cheese, the whatever brand from Walmart like seven dollars for a tub and again try not have to go there if i don't have to i got the happy farms pimento cheese in the zesty jalapeno they have a regular one we're gonna see if he likes this he likes this on broccoli and he also likes it like dipped with a homemade lunchable versus like sliced cheese speaking of sliced cheese we did get a block of the regular sharp cheddar that is for a recipe such a great price 
I did get a bag of steak fries. The steak fries, I think they're a little bit um, less as far as the quantity goes than the crinkle cut, but they were cheaper and I didn't need a huge bag of them anyway. They don't eat these often, but it's 120 calories for five pieces. I think the steak fries are more macro friendly than the other ones too, if you want something quick versus doing your own. Got a package of the Moo Tubes, just one. We have some, and these are like over $1.60 now at Walmart. So they're at buck fifty-five. the cotton candy and the melon berry flavor to tide them over for lunches. Also got a container of the light sour cream. That is for me and the hubs, 40 calories for two tablespoons. Low fat cottage cheese, I love this stuff. It's 80 calories and the protein on it is insane. I'm trying to get it without like towering this over 13 grams of protein. Love that, either sweet or savory, so, so good. And then the boys like this vanilla light yogurt versus the Greek one. I don't mind, it's not that big of a difference but the price is significantly different. So I got that for them to tie them over for their yogurt fix. Only got one can of cinnamon rolls. We have one in the fridge from last time for the weekends to treat them. And then I've been making them just regular biscuits with like a protein on the side and a fruit to tie them for breakfast and they're really loving the biscuit game. So I got that for them. And then I haven't seen these before. These are like the knockoff to the stir water enhancers. I've only seen the other ones, so I was happy to see them there. I think they're a little bit cheaper than the ones from Walmart. And again, not making that Walmart trip. Black cherry and mixed berry. Y'all let me know if you've tried those and you like them. And then finally, I am low on rice cakes. So I did go ahead and get the fit and active ones. The lightly salted rice cakes, which are five more calories than the Quaker. Maybe the Quaker's not labeled right, probably. I mean, you can't trust the labels 100%. So I got one of those and also got the caramel corn rice cakes, which was 50 calories, same as Quaker. But the price, guys, rice cakes are $4 at Walmart right now. Like what? <laughs> so this is half the price. So that was a no-brainer. Also got some crushed pineapple. I wanted the actual ring but they did not have any for a recipe, the Hawaiian chicken recipe. So I'm just gonna put this crushed pineapple on there. It's gonna give us the same flavor. And I think the macros are the same as well. I did get some more of the Skipjack tuna. These are, I think they were 99 cents a can, but it's only 90 calories and 19 grams of protein. What I've been loving for another snack option, giving me so many high protein snacks options with the rice cakes. Rice cakes have been my jam. Take one of these cans, put some buffalo sauce in there like the franks the zero calorie one put a laughing cow cheese on your rice cake and put that on top i know that sounds weird but it's so so good thank me later got two bags of the super sweet frozen corn for the boys mainly they love that for a side with dinner and they only had one bag on the shelf i hadn't seen the season's choice extra fine green beans i'm running low on my beloved members mark ones from sam's if we like these and if i have to do the price difference we'll just start getting them from there but they only had one bag but we're gonna try them out and then I am totally out of chili powder. I use chili powder and I like all the taco seasoning and stuff all the time. I am out. So that was 99 cents. And then I'm also out of the everything but the bagel seasoning. And that was pretty comparable to Walmart too. The boys are about to eat this. I need to get the oven preheated. It's one o'clock. I'm telling you, it's a long trip. Like we left early. They're starving. So they asked if they could get this gluten-free cheese pizza by Mama Cozy's. It's a 12 inch for the price I'm popping up. So we're going to give that a try and see if they like it. The crust looks nice and good. They still have the cauliflower ones. We definitely need to try those. And then I did get some of the knockoff to the sparkling ices for the hubs. I need to get the knockoff members mark ones at Sam's. They are cheaper. These are 55 cents. The members mark ones are like 45 cents. So it's definitely a better deal. So I definitely will be running into Sam's next week and doing a pickup for certain things that are cheaper than Aldi and that I can't find at Aldi. So I just got them for you to tie them over. The boys are out of the veggie straws. They love the ranch and the cheddar. They love, love these. We have enough snacky stuff, so that's why you're not seeing that because I said we got to go through what we have, but I know they love those. And speaking of snacky stuff, I only got one of the iced oatmeal cookies for the hubs because they don't need this stuff. You know what I mean? So I was like, we're going to have to start limiting you guys, but did get one of those because they only had like two on the shelf and he'll be happy to see it. Got some of the paper plates by Boulder. There's 50 in there for the price comparing to Dixie until I can price compare and see if Sam's is a better deal or Walmart. And then here's the snafu we had with the candles. So I showed you guys the candles were 99 cents on clearance in store. The regular grapefruit rang up for like $5. Like it wasn't even the before price for what it said on there. And they were all in those little bins. So you have to make sure you read the tag. I didn't do that specifically. So these two were the only ones that rang up for 99 cents. Grapefruit and sea salt and Lakeshore Sunset, which they both smell really good. So here's my change back for the difference with the candle. 
and the difference from the bread. They always do a really good job when they ring stuff up wrong and give you your money back. So that was awesome. So with my refund, everything from Aldi, $88. I mean, it would have been double if triple that for the same exact stuff at Walmart. Like how crazy is that? And then when Dixie, I mean, a little sad $27 haul. Rice Krispie Treats were buy one, get one free. So it made these like a buck something a box, which is really cheap for seven of them. These aren't for the boys, which I'll give them to them maybe for back to school time because I might not be partaking in these as much when the kids go back to school because I won't be waking up super early and necessarily needing this. But I love this birthday cake one, so I wanted to make sure I had it. It's 90 calories. This is just something to get quick absorbent carbs in your system when you don't have a option to eat like a full-on meal to get your strength training done so that's the only purpose why i eat those these were on a good deal um versus buying them at walmart i think walmart they're like almost eight dollars a 12 pack right now and i haven't been able to find them either i love the sprite zero so i went ahead and got two of those since they had them and they were cheaper these were three for five they're hard to find the a and w zero sugar cream soda the hubby loves those so i got those specifically for him and then I am like getting wasted on my anabolic breakfast sandwich. I'll link that up above in the iCards and in the description box for you guys. I have a video here for you. And I absolutely am obsessed with it. And when these go buy one, get one free at Winn-Dixie, I always do that deal. So I went ahead and got two of them. And let me tell you, these were the last two of the 100 calorie ones I had on the shelf. They have like all new like French maple French toast ones. I was like, oh my gosh, those look so good. But this is the ones you need for the lower calorie, higher protein option. So that's what I got for 27 bucks. I know, so sad. $27 at Winn-Dixie, $88 at Aldi. I mean, Aldi is just the poo and I'm absolutely obsessed. Where is that one locally? They need to hurry so up. So that's going to do it for this week's Aldi haul. Please give it a huge thumbs up if you look forward to these Aldi hauls here on my channel. If you are new, I'd love to have you a part of the family. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, all the bells and whistles so you're notified every time I upload a new video here. I know I said next week I was, or I said I was going to be going to Aldi every single week, which if we have one right around the corner, your girl would definitely be doing that. <sighs> they need to hurry up. But we went ahead and did something a little different, at least halfway. I wanted to do a full video of like shop in store with me at Sam's Club, Target, and Walmart. And I ended up just doing Target and Sam's Club because Waylon got sick. So I didn't want to bring him in store and we just did a pickup. But next time I go in store to all the places at like Walmart and stuff, I kind of like that style. I love watching those videos where they go in store and kind of like I do at the beginning of the Aldi haul. So let me know if you would like that for the Aldi. Aldi videos so like when I go in store I like just show you everything I'm putting in my cart as I'm shopping and also show you the things like I do in the beginning of this rather than just coming home and putting on the counter and talking about it let me know if you like that style and we'll definitely switch it back and forth but I'm just really enjoying watching those myself so I thought it'd be fun to do those so make sure to watch next week's video it's a little bit different and let me know your thoughts and we will be at Aldi the following week Waylon should be better by then so we will be in store the following week at Aldi Y'all have an awesome day and an awesome week and a pinned comment is the meal plan for the week and also the anabolic breakfast sandwich I'll have in the description box. We'll see you in the next video. Bye y'all.